Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I am streaming to you live from the heart of Europe, beautiful Budapest. I hope everybody is having a great week so far. Hi, satisfying times. Good to see a member in class. This is a members chat class. Everybody is welcome to watch, of course. And in 90 minutes, we will have a speaking part two class where everybody will be able to join the chat. Hi, I'm Arjit. Uh, this members chat class is focusing on a new task two writing topic. We'll be uh, emphasizing correct structure for your essay. This is for the academic IELTS, but for task two, it's basically the same concept uh, regardless of whether you're doing the general or sitting the academic version of the exam. Hi, Carolina. Hi, your Salam. Kisi, Danielle, good to see more members hopping in on the class. While we wait for some more members, again, these lessons are brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS help. Check us out there. And to prepare for your general exam, check us out at G-I-E-L-T-S help.com on both of these websites uh, we have loads of materials and we're always adding new materials uh, for you uh, we have over a hundred hours of video lessons interactive exams six of them we're going to be adding some more early next year um, and we have uh, a fully interactive course with strategies this is the academic web portal here aehelp.com click that big red button to join us there hi Barendra this is the general version of uh, our product at gileshelp.com. Click that red button to join the premium package on that website. And we'll be releasing our general IELTS app, integrated app, at the end of this month. We already have our app out for the academic version. Search your app store for academic IELTS help. Hi, Preeti. Hi, Hassan. Good to see many more members in. Just bear with me for a few more moments. And then we'll begin today's task two question. If you have uh, any uh, inquiries or comments, concerns about the exam or our products, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Uh, also, you can buy our exams in digital or paperback version uh, on Amazon. Search for these titles here, AE Helps Academic IELTS and GE Helps General IELTS. Okay, everyone, so today again, task two, followed by a speaking part two class. And then uh, tomorrow we'll finish this task two that we start today, uh, and then a reading lesson, and we'll have classes all the way until uh, Saturday. Okay, so lots more classes to look forward to. And here is the question uh, for today's class. Uh, here we go. IELTS task two writing. You should spend 40 minutes on this task and you should practice that. I just saw an email from a student that was really disappointed because they didn't have enough time to finish this uh, task. They got lost writing task one. They ran out of time and they asked me how much will that affect my score? And unfortunately, it has a pretty big effect because task two is graded uh, twice the value of task one. So make sure to take 40 minutes on this task. Okay. Make sure to start with task one, uh, because it helps you to warm up your writing skills for task two. Okay. So here we go. Uh, many people believe that the overconsumption of refined sugar is a major problem in the world and should be regulated the same as alcohol and tobacco. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Give explanations and examples to support your opinion. Write at least 250 words. In the exam, they will write the at least in all uppercase letters because a lot of students think that they need to write maximum 250 words, but that's not true. It's a minimum. So that's your absolute minimum for your task completion. It's a better idea to write a little bit more. Um, just an FYI, FYI means for your information. Uh, if you sit the TOEFL exam, the test of English as a foreign language, it's the American uh, version of the IELTS. If you 
if you want to think about it as such. Um, the uh, TOEFL exam asks you to write minimum 300 words in 40 minutes. So um, it gives you an idea of what is expected for those higher band scores. In the IELTS, you should be closer to 300, 320 words, okay? Not just 250. It's very difficult uh, to get a high, high band score like band eight with just 250 words. Okay, keep that in mind. Hi, Raj. Hi, Fridavs. Good to see a lot of members in the class now. That's excellent. All right, students. So let's get into this. Uh, what should I do? So I read the question. What do I do with it? I paid attention, of course, as much as possible. What do I do with this question now? Amarjeet correctly says, let's paraphrase the question. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's paraphrase the question. You paraphrase, I paraphrase, and then we'll compare. When there are lots of us paraphrasing, it's even better because we get an even more accurate understanding of the question and even more vocabulary to work with. So let's do it. Let's paraphrase. <clears throat> so um, let's do this. I'm going to stay a little bit silent so that you can think, okay, while I paraphrase. All right, so here is my paraphrase of the question. I'm sure our members are finishing up their paraphrasing as well. Again, do practice uh, paraphrasing quickly when you're getting ready for the exam at home. You shouldn't be spending too, too much time on the paraphrasing, okay? So here's mine. Um, it is, let's just get rid of that in. Um, it is a popular belief that humans are eating too much white sugar these days and this is a serious concern around the globe as such it should be controlled the same as other harmful substances such as cigarettes and liquor to what degree do you support or disprove of this notion all right a lot of paraphrasing there a lot of word replacement synonyms different grammar let's see what our members are coming up with uh, satisfying times says some believe that consuming industrialized sugar is harmful for human health and governments should put restrictions on uh, it such as cigarettes and alcohol not such as in that case satisfying times the same as the same as uh, such as is confusing there okay so the same as cigarettes and alcohol uh, Roshni says some people ascertain Roshni, that's one word, ascertain. It's spelled a little bit differently. So Roshni, some people ascertain that the larger population of larger proportion of sugar intake is a major concern across the globe and should be considered as the same um, addiction as alcohol and tobacco. Uh, careful, Roshni, we haven't actually discussed addiction yet. I think you're adding information which is not visible in the question. Be really careful with that, students, so you can't 
say words like addiction or um, diabetes or obesity because these words are not in the question that's coming from your mind. Uh, when you paraphrase Roshni, it's really important that you don't take out important information and you don't add important information, all right? Just keep the information the same. Later, when you write your essay, then you can make changes. Uh, Preeti says, several individuals ascertain that the overeating of refined sugar is a big issue across the globe and should be curbed like alcohol and tobacco. Uh, Preeti, nice use of the word curbed. Yeah, that's good. All right, Hassan, uh, not bad. The beginning there's a little bit awkward, a little bit confusing. Maybe rethink that. Amarjeet says, a number of individuals think that the uh, overuse of refined sugar is harmful and has become a global phenomenon, a negative global phenomenon like alcohol and tobacco on our planet. Uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree? How far, Amarjeet, is not accurate English in that case? Okay. Uh, you're solemn. Certain individuals think that ingesting too much white sugar is a big concern across the globe. Hence, it should be regulated the same as alcohol and tobacco. You're solemn. The same. Okay. Uh, Kisi says certain individuals ascertain that it is a big issue uh, internationally about eating too much pure sugar these days because of that. People should restrict the consumption of sugar like liquor and cigarettes. Use a plural on that, cigarettes, uh, Kisi. Um, and internationally, right? Nationally would be within the country. Internationally would mean uh, in all countries, Kisi. So careful with national, international. Okay. All right. Some good paraphrasing there. So, uh, I think we have the right idea. I think we're all on the same page. Um, okay, uh, now I'm sure most of you realize we need to identify the topic. Okay, and what is the topic in this case? So what are we talking about? Okay, so what are we talking about? And that's exactly what you should uh, ask yourself. What are we talking about? Yeah, uh, Carolina says the overconsumption of refined sugar. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Absolutely. That's our topic. Okay. Overconsumption of white sugar. Very good. Um, Amarjeet says, what is refined sugar? Um, Amarjeet, refined sugar basically means that you're taking um, uh, sugar beets, sugar carrots, sugar cane, and you're extracting sugar. It's when uh, you use um, a factory process to take sugar out of plants, usually, and condense it into, um, in most cases, the white uh, crystal sugar that you buy in stores. Now, of course, that doesn't just mean the bag of sugar that you buy in stores, Amarjeet, but it also means um, chocolate bars, candies, uh, and any kind of food which has refined sugar added to it. Okay, so uh, that's what refined sugar is referring to. So anytime that we're condensing sugar, and using that as uh, a food uh, source or food supplement. Okay. All right. So what's the controlling idea? Okay. So the topic is overconsumption of refined sugar. What's the controlling idea? Okay. So Carolina says the controlling idea is, is should it be regulated. Yeah. So should there be regulations placed on white sugar? Agree, disagree, right? Okay. 
to what extent do you agree? All right. So, um, Amarjeet, you just asked the first question when you're critical thinking, right? Uh, what is refined sugar? But the more accurate question here is what is the overconsumption of refined sugar? All right, so always be really careful. So we're not just simply asking what is refined sugar here, but we're asking what is the overconsumption of refined sugar? So what does that mean? And again, remember, asking the correct questions when you're thinking about your task two. I'll get you back on camera here, just a sec. Not sure why my camera decided to take a snooze. I'm gonna switch up cameras today. All right. So again, coming up with the right questions is absolutely essential to create an accurate essay that gets high marks for task completion. And of course, it will have good coherence and cohesion as well. So here we're not just simply asking what is refined sugar, but we're asking what is the overconsumption of refined sugar? So what does that mean? So Chabi says, consuming more than the daily allowed portion. Okay, um, can we say that in a different way? So let's see how well you can define that. Okay. Uh, Ferdov says, eating more sugar than recommended by doctors. Okay. What else? So Roshni says, adding sugar to every product, uh, which people eat excessively. I think Roshni, you're answering the why question. So why is there overconsumption of sugar? Again, uh, students, be careful. Make sure that you clearly separate your thoughts. So why is there overconsumption of refined sugar? That will be your next question. And how is refined sugar over consumed that would be your third question for critical thinking make sure to keep your thoughts separate and your answers as distinct as possible you will have much better organization um, in uh, your uh, essay for sure okay So your asylum says ingesting excessive amounts of sugar, but what is excessive amount, amounts of sugar? So Moro says uh, eating so much sugar that it uh, creates disease. Okay, uh, think about your body, students. So keep your thoughts simple, right? Um, So I would say the overconsumption of refined sugar would mean eating sugar more than the amount the body can digest and use in a healthy way. Okay, so that's what I mean. And I think Preeti has a very good synonymous answer as well. So Preeti says eating more refined sugar than the body needs. Very good, Preeti. In fact, Preeti, I think your answer, it's the same as mine, <clears throat> but you said it in a simpler way. So it's even more elegant. Uh, again, a good reminder, thank you, Preeti, that your goal always, when, especially when you're practicing at home, is to be as concise uh, as possible. So I'm going to uh, steal your uh, suggestion there, uh, Preeti, and use that one because I like it. It's simpler and you're expressing the same ideas what I've wrote. So eating refined sugar... Uh, more than the body needs. Yeah, it's as simple as that, okay? Now, I think comes the question that a lot of you were trying uh, to use for the previous. Why is there overconsumption of refined sugar? 
Um, it is, so white sugar is frequently available. Here, I'll uh, use a new word for you. It's readily available in many uh, food products such as sweets and soft drinks. Okay, so why is there overconsumption of refined sugar? White sugar is readily available in many food products such as sweets and soft drinks. Such as sweets and soft drinks is probably the how question, but let's keep it there for now. Um, Amarjeet says, because people like its taste. Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, because people like the taste of sweet foods. Yeah. Okay. Now we can use, I can't remember who it was. I think it was maybe uh, Roshni that said this. Um, sugar is addictive. Okay, so that's a very simple answer. Sugar is addictive. It's proven that it is addictive. Absolutely. Um, why else? So why else is there an overconsumption of refined sugar? When you are answering questions, members, students, for the IELTS exam, try to always think about the big generic truths in our world. Okay, so Preeti says it is used to preserve food. I don't think, Preeti, it's used so much to preserve food. I think that's more salt, but you're thinking out of the box, which is good. Um, so think about some other big generic truths on the driving forces of human products, such as white sugar. And I think you'll come up with another very important one, especially if you think about cigarettes and alcohol as well, why we have those. So aside from addiction, so it's available. Um, people like the taste of it. It's addictive. What else? Uh, Chavi says work routine forces us to eat unhealthy sugary foods. I don't think so. I mean, satisfying times. If it, there weren't chocolate bars, but there were just bananas on the shelf, you would also eat the banana if you're in a rush. So I don't think it's your work routine that's forcing you. Um, Carolina says nobody's controlling the amount of sugar in products. Um, okay, it's unregulated. That's a good one. Yep, you can sell as much sugar as you want. So, but why do we eat them? Okay, why do we eat so much of this sugar? So it's a high source of energy. Yeah, Danielle, that's okay as well. Sure. There's one more. Why, why is unawareness? Yeah, so any says that people are not aware about it. Um, Preeti Sweet Tooth, it's, we've written that. We like the taste of sweet foods. Um, but why else? There's another really big reason, and nobody's said this, and I think if you miss this in this essay, uh, it makes it more difficult to get a higher band score. If you think about this, then it will come to mind. Why are there chocolate bars everywhere? Why are there Red Bull, Coca-Cola drinks everywhere? Um, why, why are these so available in supermarkets, grocery stores? Think simple. Still waiting for it. Okay, I want you to discover this. Yeah, there we go, for Dobbs, thank you. To sell more products, Hassan, very good, to make a profit, okay? So, um, 
Absolutely. Think about Coca-Cola. Uh, think about uh, Nestle. Uh, these are some of the biggest companies in the world. Clearly, they've made billions and billions of dollars on selling refined sugar. It's highly profitable. Okay, so that's um, one of those generic truths that you need to think about. So for the IELTS exam, students, always um, when you're hearing and reading the questions, hearing the questions for speaking, reading the questions for writing, uh, think about these generic truths, okay? Profit, the environment, human health. So all of these generic truths somehow for a lot of these questions will be the right approach, okay? So profit. So how is refined sugar overconsumed? How do we do that? How do people overconsume uh, refined sugar? Okay. All right, that's an easy one. So they eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, Coca-Cola, Mars bar, uh, a lot of bread, uh, pasta. A lot of these products include uh, refined sugars, okay? All right, um, so controlling idea, should there be regulations placed on white Sugar. Okay. Um, what is the right question here? So what question should I ask first in this case? If I'm planning this essay at home on paper and the exam mostly in my mind, I don't have enough time. So what should be my first question? Give me the full question for this controlling idea. It's really important to ask the right questions. Being able to ask the right question is more important than giving the answer. So it's always a what, why, how for Dobbs. Always start with the what, okay? Always oh, start with the what question. So here I'm definitely looking for a what question. So Chabi says, what are the regulations that should be placed on white sugar? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not the do you agree or disagree. The right question here is what regulations should be placed on white sugar or refined sugar? Okay, great. That is the right question. Very good. Yeah. Not why, not why yet, Carolina. That would be your next question here. Let's start with the what. So what regulation should be placed on refined sugar? You can't really argue that you agree with this or disagree with it until you identify what regulation you're actually thinking of, okay? So a very good Preeti. Um, so what regulations should be placed on refined sugar? And what's the answer to that question? Yeah, so Hassan says imposing a high tax system for such products. Good, so imposing a high tax system on refined sugar products. Yeah, make them less desirable, just like tobacco and alcohol. Make them expensive. Um, don't allow people to buy so much, yeah. So Preeti says increase the prices, sure. So high tax system on sugar products for both businesses, producers, and customers, right? What else? What other regulation might you put on such products? I, th I have one in mind. Okay. Remember, students, the questions do try to help you with your critical thinking. Uh, questions in the IELTS exam, they'll often include hints. 
that should help you to answer these questions. Here, alcohol and tobacco. So think about what kind of restrictions do alcohol and tobacco have? So alcohol and tobacco, they're more expensive. They have special kinds of what's called redistribution taxes, right? Maybe uh, some more. So Danielle says restrictions for advertising. Yeah, so don't make them uh, advertised as much. Yeah, so uh, awareness uh, on the bottles of um, what can happen. Carolina, very good. That's what I was thinking. Age restrictions. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, stores are not allowed simply to sell chocolate bars to children under the age of 10. It's a tricky one, but... As a parent, might not be a bad idea. So uh, imposing a high tax system, imposing age restrictions. Sure. Um, mandating awareness advertisement. Yeah, so just like on uh, packs of cigarettes these days all over the world, they have pictures of all the terrible diseases and side effects of smoking, even death. Uh, maybe if we put uh, some extremely obese people on the side of a Coca-Cola bottle and said that, hey, this could become you if you're not careful, uh, people would be a bit more um, attentive when drinking soft drinks or putting uh, diabetes warnings on uh, these sugary products. Sure. Okay, so um, these are the regulations and why? So the next question, now you have the right idea, is why should regulations be placed on refined sugar? Okay. So answer that question for me. Why? Yeah, so Preeti says maybe even banning some chocolate bars. So you have the right idea now. Absolutely. Um, and uh, why should we do it? So why should regulations be placed on refined sugar? And students, viewers, members, when we're doing these questions and answers, uh, this is just like the speaking section. So it, I suggest um, repeating these questions and answers nice and loud because you're basically uh, practicing for the speaking section of the exam as well, okay? Um, so, uh, NA says, because gone unchecked, it will lead to a health epidemic like in the United States and some other countries. That's right, NA. Um, Chabi says to maintain people's health. Carolina says it leads to obesity health problems, cardiovascular problems, heart problems, um, blood pressure, diabetes, absolutely. Too much sugar is the source of a lot of uh, health issues. Yeah, yeah. So um, why should be, so to keep populations healthy, to stop sugar related diseases such as diabetes it's type 2 diabetes of course uh, diabetes and obesity so there are lots of others definitely all right um and how so how can regulations be created so how can it be done how can it be done yeah so chubby says it should be a government decision Initiative is another way to say it. So it's a government decision and initiative. It means that the government says, okay, this is something we need to do. Let's create a uh, policy. Let's have 
society vote. Uh, let's put it into law. Okay. Um, and he says by forming a committee responsible for health and government. Um, which department in the government would, do you think would be responsible for this? So always try to be specific. will help you come up with better vocabulary. Increase your lexical resource mark on your exam. So what department, what part of government would, do you think would mostly be responsible for initiating this? Yeah, very good. So NA says the health ministry. Very good. So NA, when you think about that and you use uh, those words in your essay, so the ministry of health or the health ministry, you're going to get a better score on your task too. When you say the health ministry must take initiative to implement regulations, boom. It's much better than just saying government. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, Kesey says um, there could be licensing as well of uh, selling candy, just like cigarettes. Absolutely, Kesey. Yeah. Uh, Amarjeet says the health department. Yeah, the Ministry of Health. And most governments have that. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. So, um, great. We have a good idea now. Okay, uh, next step. Obviously, we need to figure out our position. To what extent do we agree? And um, in this case, what do you think is the easiest answer here to get a high band score? Okay, obviously here we're leading into our thesis. So to what extent do I agree? Think about the easiest solution here. You're not writing for uh, your political science or sociology class in university. You're writing for the IELTS exam. Your goal here is to get a band nine or as close as possible. So Roshni says, let's just go with completely agree with this idea. Yes, I agree with this idea. Yeah, Roshni, Amarjeet, absolutely. I think highly agreeing or completely agreeing with this statement is the simplest approach to getting a high band score. In the real world, you might say, I partially agree because yes, it's bad for health. However, it's extremely difficult to regulate. That would not be an easy essay in a second language um, by any means, especially when you have a time limit. Don't forget, students and members, in university, you will have much more time to uh, write your ideas and essays because you have a week or two weeks uh, after you get the question to explore your ideas and express your ideas. But the IELTS exam, it's short, it's 40 minutes, so don't take the side of reality and truth necessarily take the easy side here the easy side is uh, completely agree so here you should say i completely agree that white sugar uh, must be regulated okay so now this, in fact, is becoming a part of our thesis. So finish this thesis statement for me. So please start with the same. Um, please start with the same phrase as what I have just written here. So I completely agree that refined sugar must be regulated and finish the thesis statement. Okay, so start with the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. Start with the same nine words and finish this thesis statement. Uh, of course, consider the planning that we just did and uh, visualize your essay, visualize your body paragraph one, your body paragraph two. Okay. Let's see if we come up with a similar type of 
response. By the way, viewers, members, I did just post a couple of sample task two uh, essays on our YouTube community board. So check those out. Those are from the last few weeks of classes. Remember, students, I promised I would put those uh, task two and task one essays up on the community bulletin on the YouTube channel. I did that yesterday. I put up three or four, maybe. Uh, make sure to check those out. Okay. All right. So uh, while you finish the thesis, I'll do the same uh, a little bit quietly so you can hear your thoughts. My apologies, an important missing element here. So I completely agree that the overconsumption of refined sugar must be regulated. All right, let's see what you come up with. This is mine. I completely agree that the overconsumption of refined sugar must be regulated as there are extremely negative consequences to both individuals and society. when people eat too much white sugar. Let's go with that. Okay, let's see what you've come up with. So Preeti says, I completely agree that overeating white sugar should be banned with the help of the government because it has serious health consequences for people. Okay, Preeti, yep, yeah, you can go with that. Um, satisfying Time says, I completely agree that refined sugar must be regulated due to the high risk of um, developing diabetes and heart disease, which is extremely life-threatening. Okay, you can go with that one. Uh, did you visualize, uh, Chabi, what your body paragraph one, body paragraph two will be about? Okay, Preeti says such as obesity, diabetes, and blood pressure. Okay, so I think Preeti now you're uh, visualizing your body paragraph one, two, and three. I would probably just stick with obesity and diabetes. Danielle says, I completely agree that refined sugar should be regulated. It's tremendously uh, increased the number of horrible cases of uh, diseases due to overeating white sugar these days. Uh, Danielle, name those diseases, okay? Your Salam says, I completely agree that the overconsumption of white sugar should be regulated, the same as alcohol and tobacco, as they are harmful and can cause health problems such as diabetes and obesity. Uh, your Salam, never write ETC, so avoid that. Just say what you want to say and then put a period. Uh, don't leave your reader guessing what ETC stands for. Okay, so just say such as diabetes and obesity, period. All right, you're solemn? Say it. Uh, Hassan says, I completely agree that overconsumption of refined sugar must be regulated. Uh, it is not only to build a healthy and productive society, but also eradicate diseases related to sugar intake. Hassan, very good, okay? So Hassan, you're the first one who is somewhat similar to what I've written here. So 
um, extremely negative consequences to both individuals, that's the diseases, and society. Yeah, so white sugar, consuming too much white sugar, isn't just dangerous for each person, it's dangerous for society as a whole, okay? All right, very good. Um, for Dobbs says, I completely agree that overconsumption of refined sugar must be regulated as it causes many types of diseases, and the government also suffers uh, from the eating of too much sugar. So for Dobbs, I think you have a good idea. Careful with your grammar. Uh, government here for Dobbs, I think, reflects society. So I think you're on the right track. Yeah, NA says, so it would create a healthier population and reduce stress on the healthcare system. Absolutely, yeah. When we cause problems to a lot of individuals, then it becomes a social problem, right? Again, think of alcohol and cigarettes. Uh, Amarjeet says, I totally agree with the notion that overeating of refined sugar ought to be restricted because it is harmful for society due to diabetes and obesity. Very good, Amarjeet. So you're on the same track. Uh, Kesey says, I completely agree that the overconsumption of white sugar must be regulated in order to live in a better society and have a healthy population. Very good, Kesey. Another way to write the same idea. Uh, Roshni says, I completely concur that the large intake of white sugar must be regulated, the same as tobacco and alcohol, because they not only increase health diseases, but are life-threatening. Okay, Roshni, I think you have something there. So, great. Um, we have our thesis. Now let's compose our introduction. Give me a hook. Okay, so let's move along here. I think you know how we usually do this. Um, introduction, start with the hook. There are a lot of great uh, hook sentences for, I think, this essay question. I would highly, highly suggest writing a hook, especially when you have a question which um, makes it so easy to write a hook. Uh, because if you have to write a global interesting fact that catches your reader's attention, there's nothing like talking about white sugar uh, to do that. So uh, come up with a hook. Hassan says, nowadays our markets are bloated with chips and Coca-Cola, uh, which include a lot of calories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have the right idea, Hassan. Yep, so these days, it is not wrong to state that half of all grocery stores are... Stocking refined sugar. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, if you go into a store these days, a corner store or a grocery store, a supermarket, you look around and there's white sugar everywhere you look. Um, so any one of these kinds of statements. So these days, it is not wrong to state that half of all grocery stores are stocking refined sugar. Yeah. That's a little bit more accurate. All right, let's see what some of you have. Uh, for Dov says, nowadays people eat sugar a hundred times more than five decades ago. For Dov's, that's good too, a very good fact. I like it. So, um, and it's true. We read this in a lot of places. So, uh, nowadays... People consume a hundred times more sugar each day than a century ago. Yeah, you can start with that. That's a great statement uh, for a hook. It's an excellent hook. Okay. 
And he says, in recent studies, it has been discovered that 71% of diseases are directly or indirectly related to the overconsumption of white sugar. And I think that's a bit too descriptive for a hook. I would keep that um, for an explanation in a body paragraph. Okay, it's good to keep that in mind, NA, but that's it's too much for a hook. It's too specific. Um, your reader would kind of go, huh, what? Uh, so keep it a little bit simpler. Keep it like for Dobbs or what I just put here. Nowadays, people consume 100 times more sugar each day than a century ago, right? So it's the topic, the overconsumption of sugar, okay? Amarjeet says, these days, um, most people are addicted to white sugar. That's a good one too, Amarjeet. Uh, Kesey says, refined sugar is everywhere in people's daily life. Uh, Kesey, I would say daily diet, okay? Be more accurate. So refined sugar is everywhere in people's daily diet. Um, okay, Satisfying Time says, in our modern world, the high consumption of refined sugar uh, has become a way to show um, a high level of life. I think you're kind of going a little bit too far there, Satisfying Times, okay? Um, all right, good. So we can take these hooks and then we follow with the background. Okay, background is definitions and importance. Okay, so uh, explain what the overconsumption of white sugar is, uh, why it's important to discuss this or talk about this, and then uh, finish it off with the thesis. So I'm going to do that real quick now so we have a complete introduction do the same write a background for me members okay All right. So there is a band nine level introduction for you. Uh, let me read through it while we wait for your background statements to come up. Uh, nowadays, people consume 100 times more sugar each day than a century ago, especially since most individuals are living sedentary lifestyles, working in offices, this excessive amount of sugar is simply not needed by the human body. As a result, the body has difficulty processing and storing the excess of sugar, and this leads to many different diseases. I completely agree that the overconsumption of refined sugar must be regulated as there are extremely negative consequences to both individuals and society when people eat too much of it. Um, all right. So that is your band nine introduction, okay? It's not too long, it's not too short, and it makes perfect sense. Uh, notice how I pieced it together, but of course, uh, 
it really wasn't that challenging because all of this information ran through my mind when we were going through the critical thinking of what, why, how. Okay, um, Chab, you'll absolutely be able to write just like me. Keep practicing, keep going through these steps of critical thinking, and you will definitely uh, get there too. Okay. All right, so some background coming up. Uh, Danielle says these days most people include far too much sugar in their diets, uh, mostly because of sweet tastes. Uh, and uh, eventual addiction. Okay, Daniel, just a couple of, uh, or Daniel, just a couple of corrections in real time. Okay. And he says the number of products laden with sugars have flooded the marketplace. Uh, further, a busy and sedentary lifestyle uh, makes people gullible victims to these foods. This has negative consequences on our body. Very nice writing, N.A. Just a couple of slight corrections uh, to grammar, but otherwise nice use of some vocabulary there. Okay. All right, uh, members, uh, that's the introduction. Viewers, the introduction. Tomorrow we'll finish up body paragraph one, two, and the conclusion together in tomorrow's members chat class. Uh, coming up in half an hour... Uh, we will have speaking part two practice and strategy for everyone. Uh, satisfying times. I'm seeing improvement and I'm seeing improvement in the writing of all of our members. Um, that's what happens. Practice makes perfect. Uh, most of you are very consistent in joining in these live classes and that's fantastic. Every time you write one of these 120 character uh, responses, you're practicing your English, your thinking, your critical thinking, and that's the way to success, not just for the IELTS exam, but also for your next steps in life. So keep it up, members. Good job. I'm really, really happy to be a part of your journey to success in life, and uh, it's a huge motivation for me and my colleagues to continue building our company and helping students like you around the world. So hopefully we'll see you in um, 30 minutes. Again, for all of our viewers, check us out at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and G-I-E-L-T-S help.com for the general version of the test. See you soon.